Hi everybody, so this video here is going to go over um, how you would go about adding a new customer and delivery location to Coring Software. Now I discussed in the overview of the customer list that um, in Cool Running, when we refer to the word customer, we're referring to like a broad-based customer like uh, Walgreens, CVS, Walmart, um, Speedways, whatever. Um, but when we refer to locations, we're actually talking about the specific delivery locations. This helps a little bit with the grouping of the of the product, uh, grouping of customers. So that being said, I'm going to go ahead and create a new customer uh, and delivery locations. So I'm going to go up here to customer and customer list. and. I got something in the filter here, so I'm just going to hit this X and it'll clear it out. So I'm going to add a new customer, and I'm going to call this Tony's Beverage. Okay, that's a new customer, and a category. I'll set a category for it. I'm going to say this is a convenience store. Now, this is a customer level, so it's going to be used for use, this information will be used on the, some of the delivery locations. And sometimes it'll be, you'll be entering the information twice. Uh, default delivery options. Do you want proof of delivery? Now, nah, I don't want that picture image. Default pricing. I'm going to set them to tier number two pricing. And I do want to print the sale price in the tickets. I do not want to print the retail price in the tickets. Default billing. I'll put Tony's beverage. Beverage. And I'm going to put a different address that I'm going to use from the, for the delivery. So this is my corporate billing address is what I'm going to call it. Are they taxable? No, I don't. None of my items are tax. Tax stamp number. Sales tax area. I'm in Cuyahoga. So where is it? Where are you at? Cuyahoga, you're up here somewhere. There you are. Cuyahoga County. Okay, billing notes, default order notes if I want to put them in. I'm going to say that uh, I'm going to have all options here. No, I'm actually going to be terms only for this, for the particular location. I'm going to say I always want to sign for it, never want to pay for it. Default method is terms. Terms is allowed payment method. And their terms, 30 days. I'm going to create it. Okay, now, oh, it says a customer exists. Tony's beverage. Here we go. Because I've done, I did this one before. There we go. Create it. Okay. So now that customer created. Now I can add more customer information. So for instance, I can go to the customer contacts, and I'm going to put Janine, my wife, uh, in there. She's the boss. Okay. Is she? Um, is this a primary contact for the customer? Yes. Do I want her to get on the email screen? It's yeah. Okay. So now I put in a customer contact email. I can upload attachments I want to or whatever. Okay. So now I now I just add the customer. That does not add the delivery location. I'm going to add a delivery location now. So I'm going to click add add delivery location. So I'm going to put Tony's Beverage Mart. You can see right there. It kind of wanted me to fill that in, but I'm going to call it Mart number Mart number one. Okay, so it's Tony's Beverage Mart number one. Private label, not going to use one. EDI, no. QuickBooks. Now, this is just for QuickBooks or any other accounting application. This is the extended properties page where we use for uploading into our accounting software. So I'm just going to put in here Tony's Beverage Mart number one. Okay, that's what I wanted to upload in QuickBooks. Delivery information. I want to put in an address. Okay. And what delivery zone? Well, I happen to be in the uh, Olmsted Falls area. There we go. Nope, missed it. These are predetermined delivery zones. Routing priority, I'm not going to use one, uh, which I'll discuss that in other videos. Um, Tony's Beverage Mart is closed on Sundays. I'm going to have it automatically look up. I'm going to say deliver in the back door. I'm also going to put this on the default order. Default order. Okay. Pricing. I'm going to say that they are going to get a $5 delivery surcharge on this. And billing, you can see right here pulled up terms, but you know, this Tony's Mart, sometimes they don't want to sign for it, sometimes they want to pay for delivery. So I gave the option to the driver to do cash and check as well. Um, billing, I'm going to bill to the customer address, what I had set up, okay? But I could deliver to the bill to the delivery location address. Um, tax, it's in Coyote County. They are not taxable. Do I want proof of delivery? No, I don't. Export group, it's going to go in my, um, I'll just call the office one. That's the export batch group where the sales are going to go. And I'm going to save that customer. Okay, so that I'm not done yet. That took care of these tabs right here. So up here I can do sales history, order history, POs. I'm going to add a PO number for this guy. 
and there's a PO number, start date, no end date. I'll just put a value of $100,000 on it. Okay, so bank, basically it's a blanket PO. Contacts, I'm going to add another contact. I'll add myself. And I am the primary contact. And yes, I want to get auto emailed receipts too because I have the module turned on. Oops, sorry about that. And uh, tasks, none yet, product, merchandisers, none, none, not assigned yet, but uh, products. I want to go and assign some products to myself. I'm going to say that I buy, uh, let's see what products am I buying, if I can find the one I'm looking for. Seven pound bags, and I want to buy some 20 pound bags. Okay, so it's picking up the tier price. The tier price of tier number two is 80 cents and 225. When I click on it, you can see it, tier number two. So, but I'm gonna override it. And I'm gonna say, you know what? They're gonna pay 90 cents a bag on just on that one. But this one here, that price is fine, not taxable. Okay, so that is basically it. That is the cust that is the new customer setup. Now, if I go back and click on locations here, or even click on customer properties here. I click on, you can see I got Tony's Beverage Mart number one. So let me go to the customer list and show you what I got going on here. So here's Tony's Beverage Mart right here. So you can see right there, it's only got one delivery location right now. Now, if I want to add an additional delivery location, I just click on it and I'm going to add a new delivery location. And this one here could be Tony's. And just repeat the process that I did on number one, and that will give me additional delivery locations for Tony's Beverage Mart. Okay, now I just well, I did want to show you one other thing here that you can do inside Coring Software. You can reassign this this delivery location to a totally different customer. So I'm going to click on Tony's Beverage Mart, and you can see right here I can reassign this. If I don't want this under Tony's Beverage Mart anymore, I can reassign it to a totally new customer. So if I was to go ahead and do this, I could actually move it over to Tony's Beverage, like this. Click OK, done. And this helps with your with your customer list management. So if you look right here now, Tony's Beverage Mart has no delivery locations, but uh, Tony's Beverage now has a delivery location. Okay, so that's just another feature inside the software where you can go and move things around. Okay, so that is that is how you add a new customer and delivery location. If anybody has any questions, contact Corning Software. Thank you.